project together? To make a trash stick. A trash stick. Be careful, you don't want to get this pointy thing stuck in your eyeball because your eyeball is going to be trash. But anyway, we're going to show you guys a quick five minute project, well maybe ten, on how to make a trash stick. The video won't be, shouldn't be, might be 10 or 15 minutes long, what do you think? I think 10. 10 minutes long? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, quick easy project. It's a stewardship video. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram at Christian Benchmark. There's a, there's a piece of garbage! Okay, I just don't want to get stabbed in the leg. There you go. Look at that. Got a piece of garbage. That's, that's, how, that's how it works. That's how it works. Okay, should we make it's the video? Stabs the piece of garbage. But make sure to make it in the garage and use it in the grass. Yep. Don't want to do the blade. So it's so I'm talking about this thing. You help me put this on there. This this is a little rope, so you can put it on something. Tell me what's made out of. It's made out of leather from cow. Leather is cow skin. Yep. So should we show them how to make this thing? Yep. Okay, let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna have Thomas lay out what we're gonna use to make this project here. So the first thing you need to get is the tools. And, and stuff we're gonna use. Okay, this is the chalk line. Yep, okay. It's very chalky, and it has chalk inside of it. Yep, okay, what's the next thing? Sharp blade. This is a wood planer, and. Careful, careful. See that? That's what, yep, that's very sharp. That's the blade we're gonna use. So when we yep. set it down, we have to set it down very careful so we don't yep. hurt that blade. All right, yep. what's next? And then the glue, which we're going to use. Yep. So we're going to use tight bond wood glue. Just a normal long screw. Yep. Very pointy. About as long as a finger. Okay. Yeah. Longer than my finger. Yeah, that's true. About as long as, how about as long as an adult finger. Okay. What's next? But my hand is taller. It is. Okay. Leather string. That one's very long. Okay. Just a normal leather string. It could cut your arm off. Yeah, it could, I suppose, if you tie it around it. Okay. This is big. Wood. Yep, got to have wood. About that big. When you're making a wooden garbage stick, you got to have some wood. <laughs> and then we'll put that right up here so they can see it right there. Okay, circular saw. Circular saw. Okay. Yeah, blade. Right. Extremely dangerous, but I could touch it if I'm Sorry not about the camera shaking. Like I said, it. my workbench it's is a little extremely shaky. Extremely hard. All right. Remember, it'll cut you. All right. So let's get started then. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. lay out. We're gonna lay out the size of the stick. So. Yes. Remember, we don't want to slam that down ever with that blade. I'm sorry. Take, that's okay. In fact, normally, what you do most of the time is lay them down on their side like that so that you don't slam them on that blade. We're going to measure out our piece of wood. Now, okay. I have a story about this. A long time ago, when Dad was about seven years old or eight years old, maybe, so about your age, I had a Yellowstone Park Ranger tell me how to make a trash stick. Can you believe that? So, isn't that funny? Yeah. So you know what he told me? You know how he told me to find the length of a trash stick? He told me to measure it out in cubits. Do you know what a cubit is? Uh, yeah. Okay. In the isn't Bible. Isn't like a cube? No. A cubit is, is a measurement that's actually taken, it's actually an old, I believe it's, from, I believe it's an Egyptian measurement, but we found cubits in the Bible. They use cubits to measure what? things. And cubit, cubit is, if you hold your hand straight out like this and put it right straight down like this, a cubit is from your elbow to your fingertips. So if you pick up your arm now, that's about how long a cubit is for you. Okay? So you know what he told me? He said you want to do your, your trash stick, you want to make it any stick, 
that you're using for a tool to pick things up off the ground or to work on the ground, he said to make it two of your cubits. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay. So lay your elbow down right on the edge of the piece of the wood back there. Right back there. Right on top. Right on top. Okay. Put your elbow all the way back here. All right. So we're going <laughs> so to kind of hold it right there. Now pick, your, now pick your arm up. And I'm going to slide this back here. And now put your elbow right on my finger. Right there. Just like that. And so this is this is two cubits. Two cubits? So I'll just take my knife here. Go ahead, go ahead and move your hand. And we'll just kind of put a mark right there. And that'll kind of show okay. where your two cubits is for Tommy. And we're going to kind of see. So right there is two cubits for you. Does that look like it'd be a, a pretty good size for you if the stick was only this long for poking things on the ground? I think um, it does. I think it, I think we should leave it just how it is. Very slowly. And then hold it down. I'm not it's like here comes mom and Wyatt. Just like that. Hi. Perfect. Woohoo! Here's mom Hi. and Wyatt. And look, it's about one inch, which makes about, let me see that pencil. Aww. So we're going to make a little mark at one inch here, and we're going to slide this down here and make another mark at one inch there, and then we're going to make another mark at one inch here, like that. <laughs> see how I did that? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to get our chalk line. <laughs> okay. All right, now, right in the middle, I just want you to pick this up a little bit and then snap it, let it go. Can you do that? Yeah. Very carefully. There it is. <laughs> There's our chalk line. <laughs> now I usually blow it off a little bit. The next thing we're going to need is going to be the planer. The so planer? Yep, this the, one? Yep, grab the wood planer. Yay! All right. My favorite part. So. Now the way we got to do this is to, these are kind of tricky. So I'm going to set this so that it starts making cuts, okay? And then once I stand right over here so they can see it in the camera, I'll have you stand right there. Are you excited? <laughs> I want to do it. I I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to trim this down here a little bit just so it starts taking a little bit a little bit soft there and we're going to make it take that little piece off there for you that you didn't like just like that see how that works good job so you just got kind of i think i might have got it just perfect with the first try so you grab onto the wood plane and on top here you grab onto that piece right up top there and i'm going to turn this this way okay and i'm going to hold it back here and you're just going to run this back and forth all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All right, let's take a look at it. <laughs> I don't think it's it. pretty good. Yep, I don't it think is. it's perfect. See? Feel, feel it. See how it's taking it off? Don't slide too much. You'll get a sliver, but just kind of feel it lightly. All right. All the way to the end. There you go. All the way to the end. Very good. Okay, I'll turn it. Okay. There you go. You're getting pretty good at that. There you go. All the way to the end. <laughs> ah, there you go.
okay, go ahead. All right, see that? That looks pretty good. Thomas learned an important lesson, didn't you? What happens when you cut metal? It gets stinging. <laughs> it gets pretty hot, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So. It burnt my finger. <laughs> right there. I can still feel the pain. Yeah, a little bit. He learned a good lesson. He picked that head up right after I cut it off. And boy, that was. I was like this. Ah! Yeah. I dropped it and I used this. Oh. Where's, where's the screw? Where's the screw? Where's the screw? It's right here. So now I'm going to push this down in there. I'm just going to kind of give it a little twist. There it goes. <gasps> you see that? My very own trash stick. Just <laughs> like that. I've started to uh, put these leather straps on a lot of, a lot of my hand tools because it's so handy to hang them in the garage. Look at this. See how, see how I've got them together here? Yeah. I'm just going to try and keep those together like that when I tie my loop. And that'll keep them nice and tight. <laughs> see, how they're, see how they're staying nice and tight? So this takes a little practice because as you can see He already did it once. I'm not perfect at it either but all right, well, anyway, once you get these leather straps tied like this, they're pretty darn tough. See that? Ooh. You just kind of tighten it like that. There you go. So that's, that's a good look at your trash stick. What do you think, buddy? I think it looks awesome. Yeah, just don't poke that in your eyeball, okay? I won't. I'm going to pull a little bit, make a little cup. There you go. Now I'm going to set the stick in there, get your other hand up here and just kind of wiggle it around. There you go, all the way up and down, look how pretty that is, don't get it on your pants. There you go. And turn this hand upside down, we'll get a little bit more on there. This side, open it up. Hey guys, I really appreciate you if you're still with us here at uh, the end of the video here. I really appreciate you still being here and I really appreciate your patronage to my channel. Um, I'm a little camera shy. I haven't done a video now for quite a while. The last time I did a video, I think I only had 100 subscribers, and which blew me away. I couldn't believe I actually broke the 100 subscriber mark. Um, and now here I am. It's been growing steadily ever since I did that video, about 70 to 100 subscribers a month. And I've got probably over 100,000 uh, minutes watch time now on my channel. And I just... I'm just astounded. I can't believe it. Um, so you guys have successfully pulled an encore for me and here I am back at it. Uh, we've got some a little bit of stability back in my family's lives. Uh, everything's a long story that'll come out you know in future videos. Um, I'll stay on topic for this one. Uh, Thomas and I sure had a, a lot of fun building his garbage poker. He calls it his uh, garbage spear today. And I wanted to show you the final product here and just say thank you so much for, for all your patronage. I really appreciate it. I know that YouTube's been under <clears throat> some turmoil and and uh, I haven't noticed it. I, I'll tell you, I, of course, I'm, I'm small beans compared to a lot of the bigger YouTubers. But um, but I really enjoy doing this. And, you know, when I first started doing it, I was trying to chronicle my family's life so that my kids could look back on, on something and see me before I got too old or before I died or whatever. Um, or, you know, God forbid something happened to one of my other family, I would have something that I could look back on. Um, it's kind of like family home videos, but online and, and for the public. And so, uh, boy, it's a strange new world we live in. But anyway, um, I'm a little camera shy. Uh, it's, it's a little freaky for me, um, knowing that, uh, I've got you know potentially over 600 subscribers now that are that are uh, going to be watching this content. And so um, the camera ran out of memory earlier, and so if the video seems like it ended abruptly, it did. 
Um, I wanted to get some more footage of us going out and actually using these uh, little garbage pokers. I've got mine and he's got his now and, and they worked great. And uh, this whole video was about stewardship of the land and uh, I wanted to teach the kids a lesson um, that, you know, going out and picking up trash and volunteering to do things, to do the right thing for folks is always the right thing to do. And so <clears throat> here's the final product that we made tonight. It turned out really good. Uh, if you can see it kind of in the low light here. Um, camera ran out of memory and then we had to get the kids to bed and kind of ran out of time and I wanted to come back and, and uh, finish up this video and show you the final product here. Um, Thomas absolutely loves it. Uh, and, and you know, I know it's probably a little overboard for a garbage stick poker, but you know what? I, I always tell my kids, I've taught all my kids that if you're going to do something, you want to do it right. And you want to pour your heart and soul into everything you do because you know, <clears throat> we never know when our last breath is on this, on this ball. And, and, uh, if we can, if we can do everything we can to keep, keep things above board while we're here, that's the best way to handle things. So, uh, that's not only what the good book says, but it's written on all our hearts. And so we just need to, we need to remember that and start, start living that way. So, but anyway, uh, give us a thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. I do appreciate your patronage and, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun with this. The garbage poker or the garbage spear. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.